polycystic ovarian syndrome and its impact on the skin. So by now we all must have heard or maybe battling this condition called PCOS also known as polycystic ovarian syndrome. So it's a very common condition, metabolic disorder, not only in India, but in different parts of the world. So today's topic is all about PCOS. Hi, I'm Dr. Jaspreet Kaur, a dermatologist with Cure Skin. So today we'll be discussing all about PCOS and the set of symptoms that occur in PCOS. So first, let's understand what PCOS is. It's a set of symptoms. It's a metabolic disorder which occurs due to high insulin levels in your bloodstream. It could be your diet or some other cause which is causing it. Sometimes it's genetic as well. Sometimes environmental factors are involved. So in short, your ovaries become a little lazy and you have irregular menstrual cycles. That is your ovaries are not ovulating on a regular basis, which causes a cyst on the surface of the ovaries. That's where the name comes from, polycystic ovaries syndrome so there are a lot of cysts that form on the surface of the ovaries just like acne hirsutism is also a very common feature of pcos hirsutism basically means increased in the hair growth so this hair growth is not present on the scalp it's usually present in the chin area abnormal hair growth actually so it could be in your legs and the hair growth that is present is very terminally thickened hair it's not the soft vellus hair that usually uh, people have on the body parts but it's very thick the kind of hair that men have on the beard area it looks like that so for that the treatment modality is again different you can either go for laser hair reductions or there are topical treatment options as well in case of chin hair growth you can go with elin uh, which is eflornithine based uh, topical treatment or else always better to get it lasered away so that you are sorted. Coming back to the set of symptoms, acanthosis nigricans, again a very common symptom of PCOS in which the skin surface, especially on the folded areas of the body like your elbows, your knees, back of the neck, that can become very dark and velvety appearance may also be present. It's just the insulin deposition in the skin. There are lots of treatment modalities for it. You can either go with uh, any tablet or medications or lactic acid based moisturizers and body baths and body washes but most important thing that helps with acanthosis nigricans is always your diet make sure that you're having low glycemic index foods if you're having a lot of rice white rice in your diet then switch to brown rice try walking for 30 to 45 minutes on a daily basis which will help in controlling your hyperinsulinemia which in turn helps with acanthosis nigricans a lot. If your primary concern is infertility, then it's always better to consult a gynecologist because they can give you the right medications to regulate your menstrual cycle so that you ovulate on a regular basis. So for that, different medications are available. You can go with metformin or make diet lifestyle changes. Other than that, even oral contraceptives are prescribed to regulate your menstrual cycle that your gynec can really help you out with. But there are different symptoms as well. Like I said, acne is also one of the symptoms, androgenetic alopecia, acanthosis nigricans. So in all these conditions, dermatologists do play a role. In case if you're battling acne, then the treatment has to be according to that. For androgenetic alopecia, minoxidil, or different peptide based serums have to be used so that your hormone levels are balanced. Sometimes we even give anti-androgenic pills so that the androgens which is abnormally secreted in PCOS is counter. Another very annoying symptom with PCOS is inability to lose weight. A lot of patients come to us that they are following the right diet, they are working out for 30 to 40 minutes but still they are not seeing the results on the weighing scale. So that's primarily due to the high insulin levels in the bloodstream for which metformin and different medications are given to lower your insulin. But again, diet plays a huge role. Try that you have low glycemic index foods so that your insulin is always in moderation. The treatment modality for hirsutism is again, it's varied. You can either go with topical ointments, which are eflornithine based usually and apply them morning and evening. Other than that, the best option is always to get it lasered away with the help of a diode laser, which can really reduce the growth to a great extent. 
other than that waxing epilators so many options are available sometimes your dermatologist might ask you to go for investigations which are usually hormone based uh, you can go to a endocrinologist to get them tested usually it's estrogen progesterone dht testosterone all hormones that could go haywire so usually in pcos we do see that testosterone or dht is on the higher side for that anti androgenic pills are also given which not only help with androgenic alopecia but helps with increased hair growth in different parts of the body as well so with pcos you just have to be very diligent with whatever symptoms that you are battling with all you have to do is just manage them with your diet lifestyle primarily at the same time supportive medical care so with pcos always remember your diet lifestyle exercise and workout are the cornerstone treatment and depending on the symptoms that you are battling it could be infertility androgenic alopecia uh, like i said acanthosis nigricans acne you have to manage it depending on the severity and grading of whatever symptoms that you are facing so that's all for pcos i hope this video was informative do share and subscribe us